So one thing we know about narcissists is that they are controlling and they are trying to control you all the time. A narcissistic person's game in life, their whole aim in life is to control the world around them. So let's talk about ways in which the narcissist controls you. Basically, a narcissist is trying to get you to think about them all the time. They're trying to create a world where whoever's in their life revolves around them. They are the sun and you are just a satellite rotating and orbiting around their needs, their wants, their wishes, their need to fill themselves up with a belief about who they are and control and this delusional persona that they have placed on the mask, right? So that the whole world believes that that mask is real, including themselves. So this is a major reason they control and it is a major way that they control. And they do this by all of the manipulative tactics that we know that we talk about here, right? Everything that they're doing is to try and make you flustered and you confused so that you will basically bend to their will and do things their way and function the way they need you to function so that everything revolves around them. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand narcissism and transform your life after narcissistic people have been in it. What are other ways that a narcissist controls? Have you felt controlled by a narcissist? Let me know in the comments and talk to me about what it's like to be controlled and feel controlled by a narcissistic person in ways that you think they were able to alter the way you think and feel, right? To change the way your world works to revolve around them. So one thing is that they tap into your emotions, right? And then they play off that. They will use what they know about the way you feel, the way you think, the way you operate emotionally, your vulnerabilities, your fears, your concerns. And then they will use that information to twist truths and twist realities and bend things around it so that they can use that to control you. Let me give you an example. Say they know you have a fear of abandonment. Well, they may just not text you back. They may disappear for a day. They may come home late for work just for the sole purpose because they feel like it, right? Because they want to make you feel like you're left and like you're abandoned in order to then control the situation because then see, they have you wanting something from them. If you want and need something from a narcissist, then they have power over you. And this is one major form of control is that they, they find out what you're vulnerable to and your emotional sensitivities and the way you feel emotionally, and then they use it. Another thing that they'll do is they'll project their feelings onto you, their negative feelings, and then gaslight you with it. When they do this, basically they're forcing the accountability of their actions onto you. And they are saying that they don't have to take any responsibility, you take the responsibility. They start to play the victim or they stay the bad guy gal and they make you one too or they make you a doormat to their you know bad person so they use this to control you if they have you in that position then they're basically holding all the cards and they can control the whole relationship they will mastermind long dialogues or long texts that go on and on and on or that are tangential or that go off topic and create what we call word salad in order to control conversations. If they can throw you off from what you're thinking about, you're going to forget and talk about the thing they're talking about. Or if they give you 45 tangential things to have to answer in a text, then they have thrown you off from the main topic, which means they are now controlling the situation because any one of those tangential things can divert the conversation. And if they've diverted the conversation off the topic at hand, then they have now taken control of the conversation. You see, it's not about having dialogue back and forth with a narcissistic person. It's about who's in charge of that conversation. And it needs to be them, of course, and them bending and shaping that conversation to fit whatever it is they need in the situation. So another thing that a narcissistic person does to control you is they raise the bar. They will change the whole game, okay? Not that life should be a game, but with them it is, okay? And so they will set a situation, say they are asking you to change something or do something for them, do something around the house, do whatever, and you do the thing. And then they say, well, that's not what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to do it like this. So 
they may say, I want you to do the dishes, but what they really meant is I want you to clean the whole kitchen, right? So you do the dishes, and then they say, well, you didn't clean the kitchen. And you say, but that wasn't what you asked me to do. So they raise the bar. Like, that's a silly example, but it, it can go into any area of life, right, where they will change it all up, raise the bar, and then leave you with this feeling of not accomplishment, lack of success and failure, feelings of shame, feelings of guilt, because of the, the nature of the way they manipulate after it. And through that, they're controlling your actions. So a really frustrating way that a narcissist will control you is by misrepresenting you in conversation or dialogue, and especially when there's some form of conflict, misrepresenting what you're saying and feeling and twisting your reality and your words even to suit some other narrative, right? And then leaving it there as if that's the truth. Have you had that happen? I think it is one of the more frustrating things to deal with. It is infuriating to deal with. And when they do it, they take control. You're no longer in conversation. You're no longer in dialogue. You are now defending yourself. So another thing a narcissist does to control you is dismissal, avoidance, changing the subject altogether. One thing that is extremely hurtful that a narcissistic person does to control you is they set the narrative in the outside world that will later become a smear. So they're preloading that smear campaign that they will use against you with your friends, your families, your coworkers, whoever in the world will listen to them. And then later on, they will use that as a smear. So you see they're controlling the whole relationship and the whole flow of things and your whole future before you even know it's a problem. They will start telling your friends things like, how, uh, how difficult you are. Start complaining about you in ways that are excessive and, and un, like half-truths or untruths. And they will tell anyone that will listen that you're a little bit crazy or that, you know, whatever it is to make you look unstable, to make you look not quite right. So that when the discard happens, everyone thinks, well, no wonder they left. Right? So they're setting this all up so that you are a target of a smear campaign later on. That's controlling in a way that is completely calculating and completely malicious. And then another thing that a narcissist will do is they will use your friends in this type of situation or for other ways by triangulating. So they will either make it so, oh yeah, you know, well, your so-and-so agrees with me, you know, your friend agrees with me that, or, well, I know you and your friend are, you know, going to go talk about da 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 da. So they'll either make your friend their friend, or they'll make your friend the enemy. In any case, triangulating your friends into the, into the relationship or your relations or your or whatever it is, your coworkers, triangulating others in. That is a control method to keep control of the relationship. Because if you lose people through this, if you people no longer trust you, if you no longer trust others then they have complete control over you because you're isolated. Or if they say, I'm separate from you, it forces you to try and pull them back, to try and win them back over, right? So it's a way of controlling the whole dynamic. The last thing I'll say here is a narcissist will sometimes play the good guy, good gal version of themselves out in the world everywhere, holding that mask tightly on their face and only showing the toxic traits behind closed doors between you and them. And they will make a complete Dr. Jekyll Hyde switch, right? Or whatever you want to call it, where they make that complete switch behind closed doors so that you are the only one who sees this shift. You, number one, start to believe it's because of you because they don't do that with anyone else. And number two, no one believes you when you tell them and they know it. They know that they're keeping themselves secret and protected by being nice out in the world and allowing it all to come out at only one person. And they're controlling the whole dynamic of your relationship through this. Okay, you guys hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Let me know if you need help with coaching, group coaching, or peer support. Check it out in the main description of every video. There's information there on how to get help. And let me know what you want to talk about here on this channel, and I will make the videos to help you understand what's going on with the narcissistic people in your life. You guys take care. Bye-bye.